When you first arrive on the river, either by bus or airplane, you'll be greeted by one of these fine guides. Before jumping on the boats and heading down river, we'll go over whitewater safety. Depending on the time of the year and water level, the tone of the talk will range from serious to slightly bored and lackluster. After that, we'll talk about how life will look for the next six days once we arrive at camp. When we arrive at camp, your personal red dry bag or checked bag, containing most of your things including your sleeping bag, will be waiting for you. You then can grab your bag and pick a tent, change into dry clothes, and relax. Sometime after we arrive in camp, the guides will set up the appetizer table with apps, wine, and water. The beer cooler will be close by. Before dinner is ready, there will be plenty of time to fish, swim, read, hike, and explore. We're adventurous guides, so just let us know what you're plotting, and we'd love to make it happen. The food at IRA is a point of pride. We also provide each guest with two beers per day. Red and white wine are available after we arrive at camp. You're welcome to bring additional supplies if you'd like something special. Drinking water is always provided and available. This goes for coffee and tea as well. Talking about food brings me to the next part of river life, the river. The river is basically a portable toilet with a wonderful view of the river. The river is set away from camp and is surrounded with a tent to provide more privacy. There's nothing to worry about and it can be a truly pleasant part of the day. There's a hand wash station set near the river. After breakfast, there are a few things to do. We ask guests to help us break down and pack up the tents. This helps us get on the river earlier. If you really want to get on the river quick, you can help us further by bringing your yellow sleeping pad or Paco pad down to the boats. You'll then pack up your red bag and your clear day bag and bring both down to the boats. The guides will then load them on the boats. The red bags will go on the gear boat, which will meet us at camp. It's also called the sweet boat while the smaller, clear day bags will ride with us for the day. When the boats are all set, everything's tied down, and uh, everybody has their life jackets on, the guides will invite you to join them for a fun day on the river. Thanks for listening.